Hey y'all, it's Ed, Ed from Cage Rangers, it's KJ48, and welcome back to our 7 Days of Die multiplayer server Let's Play. This is episode 30, and uh, I'm here with Ono Koho. Hello, hello! And Pam. Hi there. And Game Edge. How you guys doing? And we don't have Bish with us because he got called away on business, but uh, yeah, so here we are. Yeah, How's everybody doing today? Phenomenal, man. What are we doing, doing good. Man? What are Out we doing here? Outdoor building, we're going to try your creation yeah. of nighttime, this. Nighttime building? Yeah, and I like this, uh, this this bar bar thing I'd be creating. That's really right, nice. that so, light position right, so he, good before we... What's that? The light position, is it good? Or do you want me to move um, it? It's okay, yeah, it's fine. Um, why don't you, can you put it on the roof? Because I, I would like it to be above the bar so we don't get that bar look on the ground. You know, the, the shadows. Sure. I was going to, I did it in my single player game too, so I'm kind of wondering if that'll work. Really? It, I thought the roof was horribly unstable in this building. Um, it is. Is it? Uh, we'll go up there. I I think you could put, like put it on the put it on the corner, but put something in front of it too. Is there so, is there an existing path to the to the room? No, there's not. Okay. All right, whatever. Just, just put it back where it was. I'll do it. No, later. no. I'll, I'll All right. One. So I got this build over here that I want to that I want to try um, using barbed wire, and uh, these poles right here don't do a damn thing. They just kind of there for looks. Um, the only problem with this build, by the way, barbed wire does not hurt me. See? This barbed wire is actually slowing me down right now. I'm running as fast as I can, and this is as fast as I'm going. It doesn't hurt me. I'm starting to think it doesn't hurt the zombies either. You sure? Yeah, you you might have been walking too far into it. You got hit by the spikes. If you just kind of graze the barbed wire, it'll slow you down, but it won't hurt you. Which makes it easier, though. They, if we put it near the... Oh, no, I see what you're doing. It, it's definitely worthwhile. It's oh, just, no, uh, okay. No, I just caught on to what you're doing here, and I said, wait, oh, that's why you're doing this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So anyway, so like I like the the only problem with this build is it's gonna be hard to repair and replace those spikes. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna be using this in my single player world as well, by the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to dig out underneath and put like we did over here with the quarter blocks down there. We're gonna I'm gonna put those underneath my first two layers of spikes by my wall, so I can repair them during the night. I can replace them during the night. I can do anything I want to do with them. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is once that's done. We're going to put multi-layers around it. Now, this layer right here is pretty cool, but it's not ideal. It's safe space, but the problem is, again, it's going to be hard to repair those spikes, and I don't want to make the whole thing, you know, um, with an underground tunnel to repair stuff. So, I, I came up with a different idea. Um, it's kind of the same idea, except we just move stuff back. So, over here is kind of the same idea. You can see right here, um, these will all have... Uh, uh, barbed wire. The only problem is right here, you see this this block right here is already taken up by that barbed wire, so you can't put another one right there. There's no way to do it, which is kind of upsetting, but not much you can do about that. Um, so anyway, this this will be set up like this. We'll have an underground thing to repair from underneath, and we'll have another set of barbed wire and spikes behind it. Now, the cool thing about having the barbed wire and spikes back here is it takes up more room, which sucks, but at the same time, you can now get in there to repair these spikes and replace them if need be. Very cool. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole idea of the barbed wire is simply to slow them down to make them take more damage on these spikes. For those of you who don't know who might be new to this game, I know there's a lot of new people getting excited about um, the 28th. Mm -hmm. And there's two kinds of spikes in this game. There's these little dinky spikes which do massive damage, but also break like nothing. Okay, the zombies will break these out in like a second. Okay, these things last a lot longer when fully upgraded. Oops, um, but they don't do a ton of damage. But here's the thing: uh, the the way you use these big spikes in the past is you'd only put them up against your walls because the zombies would stand up against the wall and continue taking damage, which is awesome. But you would never put them more than two rows back because they just run by them and they barely take any damage. Now this barbed wire doesn't do any damage to the zombies, but it slows them to a crawl and they continuously take damage by those spikes. Hmm. That's the that's the idea. Very good idea, actually. That makes sense, brother. And, and I don't think we'll I don't think the extra room required. I don't think that's a big deal. No, I mean, it's not. What we got? It's not. How big of a map do we have? I, it doesn't matter. And it's gonna look cool. I mean, it's gonna look yeah. really cool. It's gonna look no, like, like trench it. warfare, World War One. So these log you know? spikes are going bye bye. These uh, shit ones. No, no, those are getting upgraded. No, these ones here. Oh, the crappy ones. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought. No, no. Okay, spikes. Everywhere. Shitty spikes. Right, let's take them down. Those are good up to day 21. Yeah. After that, it's time to move on. They look cool, though. They did a nice job of redesigning them. They, yeah, they do look a lot better than they do, I'm sure. 
Also, um, I will admit that I'm stealing, uh, I'm stealing, uh, Game Edge's idea. Although, I saw, I really saw, uh, Z Nation do it first, but Game Edge does it more in a straight line, where Z Nation was doing it in different ways. What? Um, in your single player world, the way you're doing your walls, yeah. I'm doing the same exact thing in my multiplayer, or oh. my single player. Yeah, that's, okay, cool, it's very, yeah, very cool. yeah, it's, and you know what sucks, though, because the goddamn fun pimps it, are insane. They, anytime they do a uh, um, a prefab, anytime the, the fun pimps build the prefab, the goddamn thing is always uh, it's always an even number. You ever notice that? Like, what are yeah, they thinking? Yeah. What are they thinking? Every goddamn uh, uh, prefab <laughs> in this game is an even number. This, the insanity. I think it's because they use a prefab editor. Well, they need to get a new prefab editor. Though. Okay, so for people like me and uh, maybe new people, what are you talking about? Prefab? Um, well, the prefabs are like these buildings right here, the ones that are already Oh, okay, in the game sorry. Okay, you're talking about these things. Sorry, go, go, go. Prefabricated. Right. Yeah, and okay. the fun pimps are insane because nobody in their right mind would ever make anything even number because then you can't line up doors in the middle. Yeah. Um, if you take a prefab and you take those quarter blocks and you put them on the very corner of a building and then you come through the building, they're not going to be on the right... Actually, they would never be on the right corner on the other side. But what you would... This is so hard to explain. I really want to explain it, though. Let me let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So it's like... Because I, yeah. I, did, I did this extensively on my single-player world today, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. All right, so let's say you got a prefab, okay? Here's the building. I'm hey, doing David. this in, I'm doing this in Dyersville, by the way. Let's say this is your prefab. Now nah, we'll make it odd. Yeah, you notice you made it odd. Yeah. There we go. Well, it's just out of habit. I know. <laughs> so there's your prefab in Dyersville. Okay, you got a bunch of walls here. There's the building. Okay. So. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Coho. All right. <laughs> so what you would do is you would come to the prefab. This is pretend this is a big building. You take out this wall. Boom, boom, boom. You missed. Take out the wall. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these corner blocks, these concrete corner blocks. Yep. And you're gonna put them down like so. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I know where you're going. Now yeah. here's the thing. If you keep doing that, the the corner block is gonna end up in a bad spot on this corner. So yep. what you wanna do is you wanna build from the corners out. Like so. Ah, uh, now the danger is, of yes. course. You might end up with a block here that you could actually get through. Exactly. That's so exactly you, what, that's exactly the, what happens. You have to rotate. These blocks will rotate to the middle. <sighs> if you keep true. going, if you keep that going, is true. you'll get a you'll get a little ledge on this side and you'll get that a little ledge true. on the other side. But I started but solid. Will... That's why I did I started solid and made it easier for me to go across. Wait, oh wait, giant. No, these wait. They should. Yeah, they, they should. Don't. They're not. Oh. Game Edge, I made you some health kits, dear. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you know what I needed? I, I thought you were... <laughs> yeah. I thought you were here. I know what the 1-8s... Try, try yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know what the 1-8s I can. Okay, well, that makes why, me feel better, because now my build is going to be better. Uh, why is my E not working? You pick is your inventory me? full? Oh, yeah, hang on. Robbing oh. flesh. <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs> I got your robbing flesh. You'll never get it back. <laughs> You can see that that won't, that won't go in the middle. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I don't particularly love him in the middle anyway. Um, okay. Because I saw Game Edge do his with the uh, with the the pillars, and it's just as effective. I just didn't think it looked as good personally. Oh. You no, know what the I side did? pillars. I did it for strength oh, to keep it all like, God, nicer. I can't believe I did that. Do you think my thing looks nice? <laughs> Man, I got feelings. I'm out of here. <laughs> it, it's Wait, stuck the, to the side. Look at this horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. You know what it is? I'm playing too many games now. I've got my left and my right click. Ah, oh, there we go. I got my left and my right click sort of backwards. <laughs> uh, well, okay, okay, listen. If you, Basically what you're going to do is with the setup that I'm doing, you're going to work from the corners of the building yeah. towards the middle. Okay? Yeah. If you do that on an even number... You're going to have two blocks in the middle to, or you're going to have to put one block in the middle, but it's not going to line up in the very middle of the, of the building. Yeah. If you have an odd number, the block is going to be right in the middle of the building. And when you watch my single player world, you'll see, yeah. I actually had to do it a one block off centered and I had no, I had no choice. It was, it was, I couldn't and were do you, about it. were you inferior? So, so yeah. will we finish the, <laughs> will we finish this thing yet? 
Well, thankfully it's on mine. Pam wrote it in my comment field to make sure it was uneven, so she saved me for that big build. When you look at when you look at the building that I built it on, you they can't fell tell. In your pit, when you look at the, when you actually when you look at the building that I built it on, I see the world. You can't tell it's not in the middle, so I, I can live with it. Oh, now that I now you told me I'm gonna see that all the time. I'm watching your video oh, going. Oh God damn it! It's too. uneven. I will too. So wait till you see my comments, man. Wait till you see that. <laughs> Some of oh, them went in your pit, game edge. Did they? Yep. Oh, how you guys like that? Oh, they some. Oh, there's still some... Oh, they didn't make it. No. We need a little bit bigger area out there to shoot from when we go out front, though. Is that thing done? It's so stupid I can't grab him from here off of a... I know. Uh, you have to find a sweet spot. I can't find it. No. Oh, nice. Destruction, you go. I can't even reach him. Oh, okay, you know what? Screw this. Just pick this up. You should see if we can actually dig underneath it. Oh yeah, like out there, she hit some parts of this. Mm -hmm. Or was that me with my claws when on a horde night trying to climb back up? <laughs> it's very possible. No, they were they were beaten against that wall. Okay. I shot them, but they were standing down there on the spikes, taking spike damage and beating on the wall. You shot them good. Yeah. You shot him real good. Get rid of this here. This stupid little... That poor farm is so destroyed. Between dynamites and stuff, yeah. And a horde. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna need more iron and wood. Make sure you come up here and get some med kits, Damon. Yeah, actually, surprisingly, I still have three on me. I just realized that. I hate it when I, I, hate it when I get, like, bleeding damage, but, up. like, I'm almost full health. And then I have to use a med kit. Nothing pisses me off more. Gotta clean up all this mess over here. Jesus, a lot of bodies. Alright, we can do this. Probably go around and uh, what are we missing here? We're missing some stuff, right? Let's probably loot around this area while he does his marvelous barbed wire. Jump off the blocks and stuff. Oh god, no more looting, Jesus! Oh well, no, so tired of we're looting. We're out of stuff. stuff. We're out of stone and iron. I could get that from. I know, I've been told. I you just put that. two and a half k iron in the. Uh, okay. In the uh, box. All I ever do in my single player game is loot. I'm just, I love looting. Hey man, I, lo I love looting as much as the next guy. I love fat loot. But, we Jesus, need brass. Man, like, a little bit of balance, please. Like, this game's all looting at this point. Yeah, well. Um, I'm gonna go out on a brass hunt. There you go. That's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> he just finished uh, saying don't loot, and he goes, yeah, you go. Screw off. Brass hunt is not looting. Brass is breaking that's, off fixtures. It's a different thing. I know, I know it doesn't seem like it matters. No, I'm gonna hit cars. It's different in my mind. Yeah, in cars, yeah. Because, like, a lot of the times I'm looting, I'm just looting stupid crap. Like, I gotta stop. First of all, no more, no more, uh, dressers. <laughs> I'm not looting any more dressers. I don't need more fucking oh. pants. Oh, and shirts and pants. Oh, God. I know. I just scrap them now. Just for, for the I don't, I, I used to scrap them. I don't even bother. Like, I ain't got the time. Yeah. I ain't got time for that shit. I'll just <laughs> if I need if I need the cloth I'll just grow cotton. But but sometimes in a weak moment. You're yeah, like, no, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, it's, I'm it's gonna loot this dresser. And then you're it's like, just it's just when I'm like making a let's play I'm just like ugh I'm scrapping my twenty thousand freaking shirt today. You know, it's just like ugh. <laughs> but that's the best part, isn't it? Play play the game for two, for almost three years and then. I like the bookcases that are empty though. That's my favorite. Oh. Oh, okay. they empty bookcases. <laughs> okay, so the bookcases. There's a big game. He's so happy every time I go to it. Oh, uh, it's worthless. I know this is gonna sound crazy, guys, but we do love this game. So we're just. Doing it. It's actually hoping yeah. that they. We've played it. We've played it long enough to see its flaws and, and call them out. He's also not a fanboy. All his ears are done fanboy. So he's. I'm not a fanboy. Yeah. I mean, I call it. I call yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You don't want that kind of shit. That's just boring. 
It's the no, greatest you, game ever. You're gonna, let's, you're gonna watch a Let's Play. It's gonna <laughs> shill for some game. Like, no. I mean, even the games I love the most, like this game, I'm still gonna tell you what's wrong with it. Yeah. Because that's how it gets fixed, you know. Exactly. Well, I don't have any more iron in here, do I? I have a little bit here on me. I have a 789 if you want. You want some? God, we have. Uh, we have to chop down some trees. Why isn't enough? No, I need wood too. There's some wood in here. Not seeing any. I'm really tired though. I might be missing stuff too. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I saw some wood. Pause it, but I'll cut down some mini beautiful forest you put up. Get up forest, man. Buy forest. Run forest, run. Should actually start replanting more trees though. Further away. That's yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, we do. Oh, oh, okay. I thought the tree's coming back at me. <laughs> you found a wood? Oh yeah, she's. That's what I'm you Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be used. Where you're going, through. the spikes will be used them all through it. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm just really curious on how these, uh, how this barbed wire is gonna work during a real horde. Because uh, Pam and I have tested it, but you know, you never really know. I think it's, I see you on your stream testing it a little bit, but that, this is actually, this actually a design I like. It's pretty much like a World War II design. I like the way it looks cool. You know, that's, I mean, I, and I know it's going to be somewhat effective. It just depends on how much, how effective. No, it really, no, it makes sense. It really does. Cause you slow down, you get injured, they go back, they slow down and it's And this is what the fun pimps wanted us to do. This is like, they've been wanting us to use barbed wire. Yeah. Like we're like a lot of people complaining, well, you don't have enough traps. And I agree, this game does not have enough traps. But at the same time, this barbed wire—if it's—if it's effective, then you can't really complain. There's not enough traps, and you're not using one of the traps. So. Yeah, no. I'm actually going to add it to, to actually uh, the base I'm building right now. I was going to add it because of you when I saw you building that stuff. But now you show me this design it makes complete sense. Yeah, you can see how I could kind of get behind it. Oh, I just like it. It's very much like a World War II kind of. Honestly, if you want, if you're, if you want to do something. Yeah, it looks really but, good. You know, do you want to do something interesting? Well, I, I fixed the whole place up. I'm ready to go now. Big holes under these uh, under oh, these Oh, that's interesting. That's like something your guy would say. But, <laughs> but, but, you got to be careful. Don't, like, you got to put up the... Um, yeah, I did it. Yeah. yeah, I know how to do it. You know how to do it? Okay, you got the yeah. quarter blocks and everything? I don't have the quarter blocks, but I You're know You're going to need it. those or you can't do it. <laughs> no, but I, I dig and I go a little bit underneath and then I put one in. Okay. Yeah. Right. I didn't mind. Didn't want to lose my blocks. There you go. Oh, I'm getting a little frame rate issues. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys, if you've seen this, it's really slowing down. Uh, where did I put the blocks? And oh, we have I did quarters. upgrade one of these poles over here. I'm wondering how many hit points it has. Three thousand. Six thousand. Six. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me! Right. The poles think, have 6,000 hit points, guys. I think they've got the same blocks. Oh, we got a horde. And, uh, game edge. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, we got ferals. I got no... Well, actually, I was still... Over. Which side? Your side? Yeah, the side I was building up. Want to test it out a bit? See what happens? Yeah. Let's see what it does to ferals. Curious to see the design. He's stuck in that post. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's the Irish one. <laughs> Coming home late. Gotta stop zooming with the crossbow. Yeah. Look at him, he, can't, he can't get in. No, he is completely stuck on it. Yeah, her too. Oh, the regular zombies oh. will crash and burn on that stuff. Like, the, 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 the barbed wire destroys regular zombies. He's actually not doing too well himself, though. Yeah, it's not breaking all the thing. So he can't break the barbar at all? He can't oh, make any damage to it? No, hold We got a for real deal horde out here, guys. Cops, dogs. Where? Coming in. Yep. Uh, on the east side. It's not a huge horde, but they, well, the, the screamers like pop up and scream right away. There's no twenty second. There, there's just oh, we're in a pit. <laughs> yeah, go to no, the pit. Right in the pit. 
Into the pit. Let's drag them in here. Into the pit. Bring them on the south side, guys. If you can. Oh, yeah. Drag them over here, Pam. Pam. Bring them over here. Test out the uh, barb. Barrel's on his on his knees. Here comes another one. Oh, vomit boy. Oh, we want to test him out, Pam. No, don't kill him. No, he was a good cop. Don't kill him, Pam. Don't. Oh, right in the pit. I just wanted to put him in the pit. No, we want him on that barbed wire. Oh well, he, he <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. But he blew he, up in the pit. He was a good cop once. Man, right. this feral seen better days. This cop's over there. There's another one. He's stuck in a barbed wire right over there. He's stuck right behind Where? your pillbox. We can watch him oh. from here. Oh, nice. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's... Yeah, it's pretty good against cops, too. Yeah, he's having a hard time. And his vomit, is, is it going through? I don't know what he's doing. He's vomiting on a post over there. What the hell? How are those poles have 6,000 hit points? Those poles have as many hit points as reinforced concrete. That's like insane. a full block. They got to they gotta nerf that. No! <laughs> No, no, I'm no. gonna, I'm gonna write. Whoa, Joel, I'm gonna write Mandel no. a letter. All right, let's just him that she needs to be nerfed, or we're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Of course, I picked this time to go out on that. Feral out, never the broke through. He's dude. gone. The feral never the broke front. through. No, never. I killed him. He didn't even break the barbed wire. I killed him. You killed the feral. Hey, can yeah. someone come over here and loot him? Because I uh, I don't have any. Yeah, I have him. Just hold E. He's got a lot of good stuff on him. I killed him. Wow. Killed him dead. Took him down. What good stuff you have? Oh, magnum People parts. Playing around. I with can't them. believe these concrete poles. It's just like insane. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, boy. Yeah. You want to hear what's even more insane? What? You know, on my uh, bunker. In your mm -hmm. teeth. Yeah, they took 6,000 too, yep. Yep. Absolutely. Crazy. Wow. Uh, I gotta get in touch with Mad Bull. Why? We gotta talk, because I gotta, I gotta get that nerfed. Why are you gonna break that for? That's okay. <laughs> hey, 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 New Jersey boy. No, this needs to be nerfed. No, no, it's called a good day. Fun. We're enjoying ourselves. 6,000, so what? They're probably very good posts. Maybe they were made in Canada. <laughs> there you that go. Canadian no cement post. posts, yeah. Oops, now it's really upgraded. Holy shit. They use Canadian cement, right? Exactly, yeah. the good cement. <laughs> well, you're here for I that can't one. wait for I can't wait for the next one. Oh by the way, since we're recording, um, even though it's the end of the video, uh, we did turn down the difficulty to um, warrior, uh, we thought the the zombies were all pretty good, but the ferals were insane, and um, we don't like we don't like bullet sponges. Uh, hate us if you want, but that's just what we like to play. Um, but we did leave the uh, spawns on max, and we put the days back up to forty minutes. Although, I'm gonna think about it. We might want to put them back down to thirty. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll think. Because I really like the I really like the horde nights, you know. Well, horde nights are fun, but we, if we're gonna do a little building, we can keep it down and bring it up if we want. That's to. True. Yeah, that's we true. were a little short on time for building last time. That is true. Sure, it was exciting because I I almost died. <laughs> Shit, scared the crap of me. It's time. What? I'm stuck in that, that damn was, hole. That was pretty funny. It was a weak <laughs> horde, though, man. Like, it was weak until we went to this I'm door. Telling you, I'm telling you guys, I talked about this in my single player game. We need to forget about these bloated hit point ferals and start putting in zombies that can actually break through concrete. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. Because, you know, you can give a feral a million hit points, but you can't break through your wall. What the, who cares? Are you yeah. arguing for glass cannons? Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, I want, I want to. Out. If it was up to me, I would rework the ferals. I would forget about everything you made them. I, I personally don't think they're good at all. Um, they're I would, I would, con they're ported console now, so they're not going to rework. Them. I would give them. I would give them um, the ability. Now, this isn't this isn't entity damage. Like, I'm assuming zombies have entity and block damage. Is that true? Or I'm not sure. Yeah. But if they do, I would leave their, you know, any damage normal. Maybe maybe make it a little higher. But I would make the block damage. I would want them to break through a piece of concrete in three hits. Hmm. Reinforce ultimate concrete. And if you don't have concrete, they're breaking your wall in one hit. So if you, you go and look up zombie hands, you'll see it's got entity. So the ferals become the gray mutants of the forest, and then you want some real mutants, right? Yeah, 
and like give them normal hit points and give yeah. them some kind of some kind of distinct scream that's only for them That'd so that awesome. way you can hear them and you panic yeah like, <laughs> like you hear the scream and then all of a sudden you're like oh my god i gotta get over there or they're gonna break in i had the fear the fear is gonna make the mm -hmm. game even more exciting who the hell's afraid of ferals come on who's afraid of ferals they're a joke well first time you see them they're scary yeah, they're cool looking. They're, they're, they're just, they're freaking, they're crap. Yeah. No, they need to work on it. That makes sense. And I hope that he's listening because that's, uh, yeah. Hopefully that's going to happen. Oh, I can't put these things here. Maybe Damn number it. 15 will happen. Uh, it's a surprise thing. They'll call them the cage mutants. Yeah. There you go. Uh, there you you go. guys can have that. I will <laughs> sign away my rights for you to put that as a zombie in the game. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you never know what they can do with you. <laughs> Oh shit. Alright, um, timer went off, so we're gonna call this one here, guys. That is going to be it for episode 30. We'll see you next time for episode 31. Till then, take it easy. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Catch you guys on the flip side.